school children are chasing scrap rubber all over the place. Oh, shucks, the jeep's broken down. The Japanese hold the chief sources of raw rubber. Therefore, the collection of scrap rubber for reclamation will help us to conserve our stocks while new sources are being found. The collection is organized in a very practical way. The children take the rubber from houses to small dumps. Boy Scouts then come along and take over, collecting all the rubber into larger dumps. Though garages were not included in this collection, tires keep rolling in. These, however, belong to an army truck which is arriving to load the collection. Just one city's collection, 200 tons. In the bad old days when making money was everything, making a million was the word for success. This week's success story is about making a million too, a million hand grenades. Here are some in the paint shop and the Minister of Munitions, the Honourable D.G. Sullivan, is here to see the millionth on its way. The Ministerial Party go on to see the grenades filled inside an air-conditioned filling room. The grenades are packed in boxes of a dozen, with everything necessary for firing them from discharge cups fitted to service rifles. Or for throwing them by hand. The section grenade shows how the striker spring is compressed after the grenade has been filled, how the striker is held up by the handle, and how the well-known pin goes into position. And then finally, the detonator is inserted. General Patrick is here, and the party go on to see shell fuse making. In recent fighting, shells and grenades have caused the majority of casualties. The inner workings of a section shell fuse are demonstrated to Mr. Sullivan. The achievements of New Zealand engineering in the making of shell fuses and in the making of grenades are of great importance to our defence and to our coming attack. It's the day of the Governor General's inspection. The Prime Minister is here and the wax themselves are on parade. It's the passing out ceremony for the first group of women to complete their training in radio location. After the inspection, Sir Cyril Newell said that the work of women in detecting the approach of planes by means of locators had been a predominant factor in winning the Battle of Britain. And now in New Zealand, the WACs are on the job.